Good morning, Nick. I'm Chelsea. I'm going to live on this island for a while. That's why I thought I should say hi. Nice to meet you. I'll be at the inn, so come visit me when you like. See you later. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. So there you have it. That is the final cutscene for the final introduction of the last bachelorette that moves onto the island. So if you were playing as Chelsea, Mark would show up at your door. So it's just the reversal. If you're playing as a female, Mark will be your last bachelor, and if you're playing as a male, Chelsea will be your last bachelorette. And I think it's really cool that you can actually marry the main protagonist of the game that you didn't choose. It's kind of an interesting sort of thing that they've put in. Um, today is a beautiful, bright, sunny day, full sun, so I'm gonna do my watering. And then we're gonna go and obviously speak to Chelsea, learn a little bit more about her. And it's also gonna be a wonderful day to trigger another heart event, finally. We needed a sunny day or a hot day in order to be able to trigger some of these yellow heart events. And once you get to the yellow um, heart events, they all sort of trigger at the same time, I think. So. I don't have any control over who's actually going to show up at my house. It could be anybody, basically, because I have Lana, Sabrina, Julia, and Natalie all at Yellow Hearts or more. So we're just gonna have to play Bachelorette Roulette, <laughs> I suppose, and see who shows up. Now, these events can be triggered starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, but you want to be careful about when you decide to watch the events because it's going to eat up time. It's one of those events that will fast forward the clock. So I'm not going to go right at 10 o'clock. I'm going to do a few things first and then obviously I will go a little bit later. So I am very excited about the arrival of uh, Chelsea because that means that we finally really get to start uh, thinking about marriage seriously. I think because the other bachelorettes have been around for so long, everybody watching has had a lot of time to sort of think about which character they like best and what traits they like about them. and who I should marry, because I still fully plan on letting the viewers vote. Just like I did in Tree of Tranquility. I think it's just a fun thing for you guys to pick that for me. Um, because I know who I would pick, but I'm extremely predictable <laughs> and boring. And I always pick the same, like, type of, uh, person. So it's interesting to spice it up. And uh, I am very excited to see who everybody is thinking about, who everybody uh, likes, who everybody doesn't like. If you want to make me marry someone out of spite, you can do that too. I really don't care, it's a free-for-all. But I think we have to get to know Chelsea a little bit first. We should probably watch some of her events and figure out what kind of person she is. I think we also need to watch more of Lily's events because we've only really seen the one. Uh, Witch Princess's events aren't finished yet either, so yeah, we have a lot of getting to know people yet still to do. And tomorrow is also going to be sunny, which is nice. I will say hi to Natalie. I don't have any gifts for her, but I will say hello.
A lot of weeds popping up. I didn't miss those at all from not seeing them in the winter time. That was fantastic not having weeds to worry about. So she's a very nice person. I find both her and Mark, if you're playing as a female, um, were both written to be just very nice, but sort of generic characters. And their goal is to be a farmer or a rancher. So they're very much like you, I guess. They have the same kind of goals in mind. So you may or may not find that to be a really um, attractive feature about them. You might think, oh, that's cool. You know, it'd be nice to share my goals and dreams with somebody. Or you might think, nah, that's boring. I want something, you know, something completely different. And the unique thing, the very unique thing about both Mark and Chelsea is that they do not have any disliked gifts, any hated gifts, um, any special gifts, nothing. Every single gift that you give them will be worth 300 points, period. There's no way to bump that number up. The good thing about that is that that literally means everything. You can give them wheat, you can give them branches, boulders, junk ore, boots, cans, anything. You can give them anything and it will all be positive. Plus 300 only, which is a bit of a downfall because obviously that takes a lot longer um, to increase their friendship. And I forgot she won't accept my gift. <laughs> anyway, so I have to wait. Um, which is an interesting mechanic. It's like, they're so neutral that they just don't really love or hate anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, it does take a lot longer to work up their friendship, but you can also score points with them by doing things like uh, taking them on dates, you know, to festivals. That'll get you some bonus points. Making sure to give them chocolates on Harmony Day. Um, if they're at a festival, certain festivals will give you um, friendship points by talking to the people there or by winning the festival. So there are alternate ways to gain friendship with Mark slash Chelsea. And the other way that you uh, can do that is by showing them your dog or your cat. We get a cat later on, you can show them your cat because they like pretty much all animals. So that's another way that you can boost their affection a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the house now and I'm going to enter it. And we are going to go on a date with Natalie today. You around? Hey, it's a nice day. Do you want to take a walk with me? And the only option that you have to make in this uh, date is just whether or not you want to go, which is easy. Great, then let's go. How about we go have some tea, Nick? Sure, that sounds nice. Okay. This is nice. I needed to sit down and take a break. Is working on the ranch difficult? Getting all those plants to grow must be really hard. Really? You're amazing, Nick. I've never even grown a flower. I don't know how you can raise all those different crops. I should try to grow something at home. Come on, can you imagine me trying to grow something? Those plants would probably die within an hour. You don't know till you try. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen? I'll go buy some seeds tomorrow. I really like talking to you, Nick. Thanks for coming out with me today. I 
had a lot of fun today. This will definitely be a good memory for me. Alright, so that event can be seen on a hot day like today or a sunny day in between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. And you just have to walk into your farmhouse to get it. So if you want to, you can push it right until, you know, 4.50. And you would only be losing about an hour worth of time because when the event ends, it automatically puts you at 6 p.m. All right. So what I should do, I've talked to Chelsea today. I should go and speak to Wada. I'm gonna need to talk to him more for him to be able to accept gifts from me. So I'm gonna go do that. I should also eat something. Probably a sandwich. It's probably my best bet. When I was over on Sprout Island, I also don't think that I managed to grab the seaweed off of that rock, which is another thing that I should do. I'm gonna skip the Mystic Islands today. Just for the sake of time. I don't think Witch Princess is gonna be too upset if I skip her for one day. Get myself some mushrooms. I can leave the pig outside because it will be sunny tomorrow, as Wada has told us. But I will put something in its food dish. And then hopefully that'll be enough excitement for a little while. I have a couple of days to play, maybe. Because I've kind of got everything set in motion for this season. I've got stuff planted. We've already managed to trigger two heart events. We've managed to meet another character. I mean, really, we've done a lot in the four days that we've uh, been in the spring season, which is pretty impressive, I think. The other thing that I forgot to mention about Chelsea is that she also lives at the inn. So Lily lives in this uh, center room and Chelsea slash Mark's room is the one over to the right at the dead end of this hallway here. So if she's ever indoors and you don't know where to find her, her room is over here. So I'm gonna have to wait a couple days to obviously get her friendship up. And I'm gonna eat my sandwich, get my seaweed, and then I guess I'll just head home. I'm also very, very broke right now. I'm what they call broke AF. <laughs> so uh, I need to get some money back now that I've spent all this money on seeds and whatnot. But the good news is that turnips do come in relatively quickly. I don't imagine it's gonna take long for the turnips to come in. We're now getting a steady source of milk from our cow. We're gonna be getting wool from our sheep every couple of days. We still have our two chickens and their eggs. I'm just going to go and check my calendar for a moment and see if unlocking Chelsea also unlocked a festival, and it looks like it did. So the Harvest Goddess's face has always popped up on the um, eighth day as her birthday. We had this last year, um, it was showing up, but what didn't show up last year and what we missed out on was the Harvest Goddess Festival that actually also takes place on this day. And the reason for that is because you 
have to have all of the islands unlocked and have Chelsea unlocked. So it's basically the same requirements as the requirement to unlock uh, Chelsea slash Mark. You need to raise all 15 islands and then you need to make sure your uh, bridge to Link uh, Island is built. So this is another romantic type festival and we will need to ask our date, I think a day early in order to be able to attend this festival. So we will be able to ask a few different girls, which will be really, really nice. And uh, it's something we missed out on last year, so I'm pretty excited for that. And it's only a couple days away. So time is just flying. We're already like almost a week <laughs> into this already and there just seems to be no end of stuff to do, so. I will be back sooner than later, I'm sure, and uh, hopefully we can make some more progress. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.